As soon as I got back to Bangkok, I started to plan when my next trip to Kolibon would be. I met the chefs from May 20, Joe and Saki, in my first week in Bangkok. Their restaurant wasn't open much longer than six months. But since then, I had the chance to tag along with Chef Joe in some of his trips while he explored, discovered, and reconnect with Thai food. This one, right, the eggplant, actually grow beside this flower. And this flower actually tastes like a Sichuan pepper, but stronger. Wow. In October 2017, I took a train to Trang. And a boat to Kolibon. I arrived the day before the Joe and Saki and met some friends. Chef Alex, an American chef based in Chiang Mai, and PM, an actress and food activist. After breakfast, Janai took us to watch the separation of the crab from the fishing nets. The amount of fish and crab and eggs in the sea are going down, so they're having to go farther out. And as a result of that, they're having to be less... Uh, uh, they're, they're fishing in a way that's more indiscriminate about what, what type of fish they have to catch because they don't have that ability or abundance anymore. Next generation, like a younger girl, younger boy. You want to be, you want to, you still want to be the, the fisher? Man, like this. Yeah. We must find a bigger board and go far more. And the next day, they already left. And Joe and Saki arrived. It was Saki's first time in the south of Thailand. In the early morning, we went crab fishing. Put the net at night, uh, daytime. So oh. two or three o'clock is when he collect everything that he uh, set up. Yeah. Can go a little bigger. Yeah, can go a little bigger, but still catchable. Stuff crab. It's crab. And the crab actually can lay eggs at any time. So it doesn't matter big or small. Like that that little one right there has like full of eggs. The one we just show you right now. So now I'm just trying to figure out all the type, record, and when we come back, we know what to but we know each kind and what to do with it. The first night, we went to have dinner in another homestay. The owner, another great cook. Her husband took us out for prawn spear fishing. <laughs> They're making the... Something nice. Yeah. Relish or something. Sounds good. Huh? Maybe like a prick. Was in the low tide at night time. We're gonna steam that first, and then uh, we're gonna make quick salad with um, I cup. our garden chili. Pick. Ni pu eng deh bahap. Pick ah any. They are chili. So chop it up. Bye God. Oh, he want us to go first. To go like a uh, shoe. Yeah. Uh, 
I got it again. Wow, Saki, <laughs> you're so good. It's no. my second shot, second time. Wow. Must be a Japanese thing. Shadley. I mean, it's not like the amount that we have each day, it's not for selling. Yeah. Oh, me, 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 me. It's a I family thing. It. <laughs> this, is, this is a fun thing, you know. Have a kid walking around with you, getting shrimp. That's what food should be. Nothing better than than this right here, man. Yeah. Nowadays, everybody talks about sustainability. And chefs have taken big part of the discussion. Well, it's obvious that food is strongly related to its environment. But it goes beyond. There's a lot around here, but you can see. Um, he's, he's not sure that we're gonna get it today, so hopefully. But in a month, uh, oh, everything will be like, clear. It's easier that way. Nobody loves something that you don't have a relationship with it. That you didn't spend some time with. That you didn't have joyful moments experiencing it. I guess that's a thought that chefs and cooks bring to the table. The dishes are just bridges. <laughs>